good morning guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog i hope you're all doing well happy wednesday happy hump day i have pretty much got up this morning quite early tom has taken barney to the office today because they're doing some kind of crafts thing i don't know sounds fun but just that i'm missing out i'm not gonna lie but yeah so barney is in the office with tom all day today so i have the house to myself i'm gonna take this opportunity to just spring clean the place i need to do a lot of tidying up organizing sorting stuff out bit of cleaning i'm gonna just pop on my fragrance of the day which i have been loving from joe malone this is the english pear and sweet pea i got this last year it was probably about this time last year was it i can't remember but it's a beautiful scent for spring and i I, you guys know me i like the real deep masculine musky kind of scents however when it comes to the start of spring i quite like to opt for the fruitier scent so like basil and neroli from joe malone i love but yeah that one english pear and sweet pea is a beautiful fruity kind of scent for for the season or for the upcoming spring season we're nearly there i think in my next vlog i might even especially after prepping the house today i might even do some spring decorating, pop out some decorations. I've got a box in the storage room in the basement full of spring home decor. And especially as Easter's quite early this year, I feel like we can get everything out, the Easter bits, the spring bits, you know. So we'll probably do that in my next video. As for now, make yourselves a coffee, a tea, grab some biscuits, grab some snacks, get comfy, get cozy, let's spend this next however long with me, half an hour, or however long the video is going to be. It could be less, it could be more, who knows. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and without further ado, it is 8am? What time is it? No, it's not even 8. It's quarter to 8, and we are getting going with the day bright and early today. And I'm going to start with this absolute mound that I have of laundry to pop away. I've also got some more bits in the bedroom through there. I need to make the bed. So we're just going to get going. So I might just pop you on some time lapses, do some voiceovers, add some music. But I just feel like today is one of those days that I need to crack the whip, get going and just get stuck into it. So let's go. Hey, I wish you could see yourself. Sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you You don't even notice Should have told you straight away You don't have to be afraid hair is up bed is made washing is popped away although i do have just a couple of things that i need to put away but i thought before i do i'll show them to you because they were a little very kind pr package from crack offers now this is my coat brand so my dog walking coat my waterproof coat i just crack offers is a go-to for me so they very kindly offered to send me a couple of new bits and i thought i would just share them with you before i pop them away so we've got a couple of pairs of leggings i have tried these on already over on my instagram this is a pair of leggings i think these are called the kiwi leggings they're in a size 10 and they are a cropped 
legging which is perfect for me with the little pockets on the side as well to put your phone in this is like a go-to type of legging to wear as it starts getting warmer for me or going for a run getting out on my dog walks and it's a bit warmer then i will go for a cropped legging like this and then i also have the full length version um well this is actually it's not the same pair of leggings these ones are called the adina legging and these are both in the color wild olive and both in a size 10 as well so nice and high-waisted these are quite supportive in comparison to my leggings like my everyday lululemon type leggings where i wear for comfort these are definitely more of a workout type fabric i would say for running errands pilates yoga that kind of thing again dog walks where you just want a bit more of a sports feel legging got a zippable pocket which is different and nice to to have just so that you can have like say for instance you're going on a run but you want your key to be safe your house key you don't want it to fall out anywhere so just to have that a zippable pocket is perfect for that i also got lastly a pair of waterproof trousers i did also pick tom up a pair as well so he has the same gore-tex trousers waterproof trousers for dog walks hiking that kind of thing when we go out and about and it's tipping it down Sometimes a coat just doesn't cut it. You need your legs covered as well. So um, yeah, this is the Gore-Tex pair of slim trousers from Crackhoppers, again with the zippable pockets. It's a slightly elasticated waist pan on the back, so nice and comfortable. I would say size up in these. For me personally, I like to, especially in winter, layer leggings under these sort of trousers. Otherwise, at this sort of time of year, I would just go with these without the leggings on underneath. And yeah, I wear a size 12 and they're fine for me. So, you know, ordinarily I'm more of a 10. Um, so I would say size up. Tom had to size up in his as well. I have actually a little, I brought this in for my filming room just to show you a little PR hamper thing that I keep beside my bed. Beside my bed, not beside my bed. Beside my, like on my chest of drawers in my filming room. See, so yeah, it's full of bits that I have been very kindly sent that I thought I would unbox and share with you as well. So firstly, this, what do we have in here? In fact, one of them I think is, ooh, I was gonna say one of them I think is a white company thing, but it's a gift for Tom, but um, I actually don't know which one it is. Anyway. This company reached out to me, Do Nails. They saw my recent journey that I've been going on with, the gel nail stickers, which I have to say I love. At the minute, I have just gel nail polish on um, because I basically have... I'm in a period whereby I needed to remove the old ones for a shoot where I wanted neutral nails, whereas the old ones that had the stickers had like a design on it. So I just took them off but they would have stayed on and that was after about two and a half three weeks of wearing them so honestly guys i can't recommend them enough i'll leave my favorite ones linked below so that you can go through and see exactly what i'm talking about but um in the meantime i want to pop on a new set but next week um before like a trip so yeah for that this kind of like week in the middle i just went for a gel uh, nail polish that i can just soak off when i'm ready but anyway for kind of like occasions I would say that I would use these as a go-to option, do nails do these soft gel press-ons. So you can either use them with these little gel like stickers that they do or um, nail glue. So yeah, they've also got in here a little glass nail file and then some nail and cuticle oil. So they sent a short French, which is probably my favorite and then also more of an almond French as well. Those two are lovely. And then if I'm going for an occasion where I want a slightly longer coffin length nail, size style nail, <laughs> then we've got that. And then we've also got this pearlescent kind of taupe color as well. So they are some bits from Do Nails, thank you to them. I also got sent a little PR package from Max Factor with a load of different uh, lip glosses. And I've tried, which one did I try? I tried this one and this one's called cotton candy i'll just pop a little bit on top of what i'm already wearing but it's a very sheer uh finish and non-sticky which is essential for me yeah it just glides on really nice i love the applicator 
the applicator. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> really weird. Well, these are called their lip lasers. This just is like a throwback for me. I don't know why, but being sent a drugstore brand and being sent like a whole collection for me is just nostalgia YouTube. I don't know why. I just, the amount of times I used to watch videos like Tanya Bear, Pixie Woo, Zoe Serg, where they used to unbox stuff like this and I used to be so envious and be like, oh my God, what an amazing like makeup collection with all their acrylic storage. And I was like, oh, that's the dream. Full circle moment here, getting sent like a, a collection of stuff like that. Just every time I receive anything, I'm just honestly blown away. Um, but yeah, speaking of Pixie, although it's not pixie woo this pr package was sent to me yesterday actually i received this and it's called wake up and glow we've got some vitamin c products and these smell really nice i've tried these before so this one has um citrus extracts orange blossom in so you've got in here a makeup mist like a prep um set a skin sheet mask which i might give a go with this weekend and then also a, a vitamin C under eye brightener. So yeah, thank you so much to the team for sending that over. I ordered this myself and I, I think I mentioned it in a previous vlog and a few of you said, yes, get it. So I took your guys' opinion because I'd mentioned that I wanted to try it and if you guys have tried it and loved it, I'm sure I will too. The Color Wow Extra Large and In Charge extra large bombshell volumizer this product looks fab i've seen so many tiktok videos of people using this to style their hair and just give that extra added volume so i will give that a go next time i wash my hair it was hair wash day yesterday so i don't need to wash it today but next time i will give that a go i'll probably end up doing a tiktok video myself so it's just very apparent if you want to see how that goes and then i also picked up these this was just to help me take it to girl mathing here <laughs> to take it to free shipping this was literally a few pennies under the free shipping i thought well for a fiver of for shipping with this or spend i think this was six pounds and then get free shipping so i went with it making money you know girl math um i saw these on was it the love island usa i think a girl was wearing these i was like what are they and then ever since i keep seeing them on people on tiktok online wherever of people using these like little star pimple patches and these ones are the earth stars so they're like just neutral colored basically and you get like little packets of these stars now i had a couple of spots recently where something like this would have come in really handy so that's why i decided to add this to my checkout we'll give them a try and what's this one? Oh, this is perfect for today with us doing a little bit of spring cleaning and sprucing up by matter you guys know i love my by matter uh fabric refresher spray i actually have um well i moved it in the other room for a sec whilst i was doing my wardrobe room but I did have it in here for in the for the bed, like to finish spritzing the bread with, but it's in the other room. So we will keep this one, I think, in here so that I can have one in each room. But yeah, if you haven't tried this, eucalyptus and lavender scented uh, fragrance fabric refresher. It's called Another Day. It's basically a posh Febreze. Bioactive fabric refresher, looks gorgeous as well. So yeah, like I said, I just have it sat out and that helps remind me to use it every single day so let's spritz the bed seeing as though we've just made it this morning and then yeah you can pop I, I like to put it on the bed but also i use it within my wardrobe or if i've got clothes that are on sort of day two or three of wear whereby they don't need a wash but i just feel like they need a bit of a fabric refresher it smells lovely i've just got a bit of my finger there but yeah honestly it smells so so good and then they also sent this, which again, perfect for today, for use today. I think I might even just stick to using this. I'm not going to use this one because I have one open already. So I'm going to get through the other one first. But this will be a backup after using up the other one that I've got. But this is a all-purpose cleaner that they do. And this is in, it's carbon negative. Again, eucalyptus and lavender. And then also they've very kindly included a couple of as well i just spotted them when i was making the bed my new book which i thought i would share with you 
as a really good read. You guys know I loved The Housemaid from Frida, what she called Frida McFadden. And I have moved on to this next book. For, again, same author. I just really enjoy her style of writing. I think that's what I've come to learn to realize. Come to learn to realize <laughs> with her books as her style of writing. I just find it really straightforward. You don't have to think too hard but yet there's loads of twists and turns in these sort of books. And I'm only just, I'm six chapters in, about to start chapter seven, and already I'm hooked with this book. I am a slow reader, but the fact that I got through The Housemaid and The Housemaid's Secret, the second one, in literally a week, or whatever it was, two books, was amazing for me. So um, yeah, excited for the third one to come out, but in the meantime, this is also a recommendation from me and I've only just started so hopefully the ending has some good or the plot has some good twists and turns throughout I already feel like it's going to um so any other recommendations maybe even from the same author if you guys have read any more of her books let me know which I should read next because I have a bit of a wait until the third housemaid right I am currently in our spare bedroom and as you can tell I've been doing a bedding we actually had, <laughs> this is like our guest room, but also when we're ill or if we need to sleep apart for whatever reason, say Tom's got to get up super early or he's got a cold or something like that, and not even if he's got to get up early to be fair, because I don't mind being in the same bedroom for that. But um, yeah, we both had neurovirus recently. For the first time, I don't think I've ever had neuro, well, I've had gastro before, but, and it was similar to that. It didn't feel quite, as intense, it, it was basically a tummy bug. We both had it, Tom had it a couple of days later, I got it, so whilst we were poorly, like during the day, um, this was like our room, it's right by the toilet. It is um, the spare room, so we were able to just have the windows open, just basically rest, recuperate. So that is why I did all of the bedding and had a bit of a clean in this room, bleached the bathroom, and um yeah so we're back in here this room needs a whole refresh at some point i want to repaint redecorate i've had the blinds fitted which is really nice but we, we need to put a sliding door on this bathroom you guys you, you're like currently stood in the little ensuite bathroom that we've got fit in here this little shelf that we've got to go beside the bed needs a fitting potentially may even switch out the bed in here I mean, it's all right for now, but um, yeah, it's just, everything in here is just box standard. I want little touches to help elevate it a little bit. And I have these, which I've shown you in a previous vlog that I got from Zara Home. These um, door knobs, which were in the sale for, I think they're about three pounds for a set of two. So I picked up a few of them to switch out on all the kind of like furniture we've got. So I've got some Dunelm drawers in my bedroom and my filming room. These ones are Ikea. Um, again, ignore all this, I need to rejig, but these are right here, these are the Hemnes drawers, um, and they just come with like a charcoal grey, just box standard pull handle, but I just think that these anti-frost ones and glass just go so much nicer with our decal, we've got the glass, the glass, antique brass switches and sockets that we've got from Corsten. I switch out all of these and they still, I think they might be out of stock of these ones, but they've got some very, very similar. It's just the glass bit is a bit more squished. It's rather than round, it's a bit flatter. Um, so I'll leave those ones linked. If these are in stock, again, I'll leave them linked, but I doubt they will be. There are a sale item that's gone out of stock now. The cost effective way to be able to just elevate some Ikea furniture. Is this what they are before? And this is the new one. So much nicer. nicer obviously I can keep these if ever we do switch out the IKEA furniture to something else we'll be able to keep these so yeah I'm much much happier with them <sighs> we are looking oh that's Tommy texting me 
Now Barney's getting on, I have to admit, being at home without the dog here feels very bizarre. Especially as it's gonna be like all day. I mean, it's different when he's in daycare or whatever because I feel like I only ever put him in daycare if I'm gonna be out and about for the day. But to be home and him not be here, I don't like it. I can't complain, it's given me a day off having to walk him, which I'm not complaining at that because actually it's one of my favorite things to do, but it does allow me to just crack on. So we've got a bin bag full of bits, got some donations to take to the charity shop. I need to spruce up in here actually. I feel like we could do with a bit of a, bit of a clean. We had a gorgeous dinner last night. Tom made, um, Tom made mussels, moon fruit. We had some chips and it was delicious and I like loaded up both dishwashers and yeah, there was a lot of pots, but we just need to unload them and then pop my breakfast bits in. Give the surface a wipe. The flowers are looking a little gone, if I'm honest. We could get some fresh flowers in. I might get that for my spring decorate with me video. My magnolia tree, I'm just looking outside now. It's so close to being in full bloom. Like you can see all the petals, let me show you. Yeah, my tulips are on there, last last day probably. Um, but yay, look at the magnolia. Oh, let me just go outside. Still a little bit chilly. We've got our little new bird feeder. It's probably a bit windy. It's got a camera in, so we've been watching all the birds. And yeah, our magnolia is just about ready to blossom. Oh, I've had the windows open up, so let's let some fresh air in, but it is. It's still cold. I <laughs> zoomed in a little bit too much there. Whoa, <laughs> can't I zoom back out? Just giving you a bit of an overview before I get cracking, cleaning, and tidying up this room. It's not horrendous by any means, but there's definitely a lot I need to get done. Dishwashers, need to clear this work surface, put everything away. Some pots, need to take out the recycling. We've got like some of Tom's shoes down there. Need to zhuzh up the sofa, put Barney's toys away. So yeah, there is quite a few things for me to do. So well, let's get the music on. And this has been a go-to playlist for me. I've been listening to old Britney Spears, like what I used to blast in my bedroom. Or what was the other one I was listening to? 90s mixtape. Alanis Morissette, Tupac, Shania Twain, Madonna, Mariah Carey, so. Hansen as well, do you remember Hansen? This, these two albums. <gasps> this was like, oops, I did it again album. What a throwback. Yeah. Don't need someone to save me. No. And don't come running to blame me. Mm. From miles away, I can tell that something's off. The way you look and how you pose. Any other dog mums out there, if you, like me, have a dog that likes to be outside and also a dog, well, also a garden that is very grassy and muddy at the minute, um, then this is my little hack that I've just been doing. I mean, I've got two towels here. I usually only just have the one, but we just have two up here for the minute, so um, you obviously needed a full rubbed down yesterday after his walk but yeah just keep the towels here by the back door for each time we let him into the garden for his paws when he comes back in but just like ordinarily to just kind of disguise it i just have this which was two pounds from ikea this little kind of doormat rug type thing and i just lay it over the top of these well, usually just one towel. It kind of acts as a bit of like a back door mat type thing, which obviously you can just bung that in the wash if I get some muddy too. But yeah, it just helps keep it look a little bit neater. At two pounds, I mean, yeah, I thought that was a bargain. This toy basket is always overloading as well, so I feel like that means probably a bit of a clear out, but for now, um, that needs to go in the wash. I'm gonna put that in the wash this afternoon. Um, yeah, I've just had this basket, which was a basket for the olive tree, but since I've put it in the new pot now, I just keep his dog leads and my little like garden crocs and stuff just there, just for ease and convenience for if I need to run out the back door. Um, or like, yeah, just pop in the garden, or like now, for instance, I'm going to take the recycling out.
Pigeons fighting on the bird feed, <laughs> fighting for their space. I'll see if I can screen record it and put it on screen, what I can see. But they're basically just, they keep pecking their food and then like <laughs> showing each other's chest and like standing tall to like fight for the space. It's good that they can get two of them on at a time though. Oh, cute, I'm just having a look, we've got a, Robin and a house sparrow and a black red start. Honestly guys, this content is just riveting. Basically it records when the birds have been on. So yeah, I'm just looking at a little Robin that was on earlier today. So cute. Anyway, oh, we've had quite a few Robins. Eurasian blue tit, Eurasian magpie. Anyway enough about bird watching for now i yeah i was just gonna say i don't know about anyone else but after i have cleaned the kitchen the last thing i want to do now is cook some lunch in it <laughs> yeah because i've just tidied everything down it's like ugh, the thought of having to get loads of pots out now i'm just like no so i've decided i'm gonna go treat myself to a gail's lunch also it'll give me a chance to have a bit of fresh air today seeing as though i didn't have a dog walk which is usually my morning hit of fresh air. I do feel a bit like, what's the word? Almost a bit cabin fever. So I feel like I've not left the house yet today. So I am gonna go get myself a Gail's lunch. I've also just popped this in the sink with some hot water. So this is smelling or making the house smell great. It's the cucumber and mince of flora. Good for, I thought, spring in the air, sunny outside today. It does get me excited. I never thought I would see the day where I'm like excited for the warmer months because I'm such a homebody. I love the cozy seasons, but I do love spring as well. There's just a whole new kind of rebirth feeling to it where you just feel like you can't not be happy. <laughs> it just, yeah, it's the season of happiness in my what was that term that i said on tiktok that i feel like i've got synesthesia for me spring is yellow 
spring is happy like it's the same thing so yeah anyway just feeling good and this is making the house smell amazing i have also just had a knock on the door from the post lady we usually have a postman but it's post lady today and she's delivered me this stack of goodies so there might be some pr bits in here um which we can come home to after going out and grabbing some lunch gail's do this beetroot salad which is so nice so i'm feeling like i might get that unless if they've got something else that takes my fancy it's so hard we did this yesterday because we went to gail's yesterday to get our sourdough for our mussels dinner and tom came out saying I didn't buy anything. I said, you didn't get the sourdough? And he said, no, I got the sourdough, but I resisted everything else. And I said, I oh, know, it is so hard to go into a bakery and resist just buying everything, basically. Anyway, let's go head over there. There is a couple of little charity shops there I might pop into, but if there's anything vlog worthy, I will vlog it. If not, we'll grab our girls, get back, have some lunch, open some parcels, see what we've got inside of this stack of excitement i thought i'd show you my little outfit today to see what it looks like from behind with the mirror um but i am wearing today my anina bing hoodie this is actually day two of wearing it so there's a little bit of makeup but the plan was always to just be cleaning today so we'll excuse that and we are literally just popping out anyway so i didn't want to get fully changed but i've just thrown on this denim jacket shirt thing from h&m it's more of a shirt but i'm wearing it a bit more of a as a jacket today might just pull the cuffs out a little bit actually just for that added layer dimension to the outfit um and then yeah i've got my lululemon leggings on today some beige trainers and primark socks i'm not going to bother with a bag because i'm literally just going to take my phone and keys we're good to go I did go for the beetroot salad that Gail's do. I went for a decaf mocha. Got the salad, which is beetroot, lentil, and goat's cheese. So delicious. And then I did pick up my favorite cake that they do. It's a, a apple sesame butter, it's called. I just can't resist this. I also, like I said, went to Holland and Barrett, picked up some oat milk the reason why i wanted to get this oat milk is because um tom's been getting us into well and i have been getting into not eating when i say eating healthier i don't mean any kind of restrictive form of eating i just meet well i suppose i do in terms of cutting out processed food or at least a bit more even just being more conscious and more aware of it that's the main thing so getting the bread for instance we're getting fresh from Gales. I mean, I'm not cutting out bread. I'm just opting for a fresher. My motto is, unless if it's a treat, which obviously we still treat ourselves, but for things like everyday things like oat milk for our coffees, 
I have been getting the Barista Blend oat milk that I feel like most people use the gray one and I might still on the odd occasion have that, whatever, it's no big deal. But if you actually look at the ingredients of it, it's full of ingredients that I can't pronounce. And if you can't pronounce the ingredients, generally speaking, it's not necessarily healthy. So this one is just pure water, organic, gluten-free oats, sea salt, that's it. So that's the one that I opted for from Plenish. And then also, yeah, they have these on three for two. So I picked up two packs of this. I'm not sure if Tom will have these with me. We'll see, but green pea, quick cook, tagliatelle. Again, just a healthier option. For me, a go-to dinner, especially if Tom is away, like a proper girl dinner, or if he's working late or going out for dinner with work friends, or whatever, is pasta. I am a pasta. Beaned, I love it. I could have it every single night. So I thought I would try that as a slightly healthier alternative. It's just green pea flour. It's the one and only ingredient. And then same with this one as the three for two, I opted for something just to switch up. Chickpea. So again, this is just chickpea flour in the form of a penne. So that's my next girl dinner. I've also been getting uh, headaches in like behind my eyes and i think it's to do with my contact lenses and dry eyes season as we start to get into spring and hay fever season the first sign for me is dry eyes and so anyway i picked up a couple of um allergy preempting allergies natural eye relief because i don't want to be just taking paracetamol if i've got a headache and it's not like it's nothing excruciating i haven't even had paracetamol or anything for it it's just it, i i get it sometimes behind my eyes and i feel like like i said if you're a contact lens wearer you might be able to relate to that it's almost like if i blink really hard i can feel it but ordinarily i can't anyway i picked up these for uh, a little eye drop and spritz of the eyes just as a relief and then i do ordinarily get my vitamins from my vitamins and i do still have my discount code so ordinarily like i said i would go on i would use my own discount code magnesium i am all out of i ran out of it yesterday or the day before so i just went in to pick up some magnesium rather than wait for another delivery i thought oh it's here well i've just seen the size of these tablets Two tablets provide 400 milligrams of magnesium. This is good for, it's good for helping with uh, tiredness and fatigue. It helps you sleep better. Good for muscles and muscle rehab, like post working out. But I have been advised for magnesium more so for overactive, you know, anxiety it can help with so that's why i take it personally it says directions to use as a food supplement for adults two tablets daily preferably at meal time or as directed by a healthcare practitioner two of these and as i'm about to have some lunch i will just have it now a lot of people take magnesium at night like i said to aid with sleep but you can take it whenever i mean i usually just take mine with like my vitamins in the morning i very rarely if at all take vitamins at night am i meant to swallow these t tablets because they are chunky i was gonna say i'm pretty good at swallowing oh i saw this thing if you do struggle i saw it on tiktok that if you put some water in your mouth put some water in your mouth put the tablet in i've always been taught put the tablet at the tip of your tongue and that's how you can swallow it rather than trying to like put it close to the back tip of your tongue but yeah if you have a mouthful of water with your vitamin in or pill or whatever and tilt your head forward and swallow it's easier because if you imagine as you're tilting your head forward the vitamin or whatever is you're taking will float to the top of the water that's in your mouth so it'll already be at the back of your mouth let's try it Okay. Mm -mm. Didn't work. Ended up having it in my mouth for too long. I wanted to unbox these uh, PR bits. Where did I get? Yeah, I've got some scissors out. Let's just have a scrip some 
this eye mist for now. Does my face look like it's covered in water now? Because it feels like it is. Okay, let's jump into these boxes. Hopefully it's all stuff that I can show you. I think this one will be because it's from KGA, which is like a perfume brand. Ah, oh, I opened it at the wrong end. Here we've got, please find enclosed the latest Jimmy Choo Blossom Special Edition perfume. Do you usually find with Jimmy Choo fragrances they're a little bit too sweet for me? So we'll give that one a go and see what I think. Oh, what do we have in here? Oh, it's a package from Nestle. This is so fun. Reimagine ice cream classics menu. Look, we've got a little ice cream truck that says Freya on the front. And then inside, most importantly, we've got some retro... They're like old classic favorite flavors like this, like raspberry ripple, ice cream flavored milky bar buttons. This one, who remembers buying Neapolitan ice cream as a child? Just amazing. Neapolitan aero buttons. Uh, Munchies cookie dough ice cream flavored. Randoms, round trees, sweets, and yeah, just ice cream flavored. Do you know those sweets I used to love? Like my favorite pick and mix you used to go to Woolworths. And I always remember, mum, if you're watching, I always remember going to the dentist when we lived, where was it we lived? I think it was when we lived at Marham, which is like a military base. If you know, I sort of grew up in a military household. So we lived on military bases quite a lot growing up. And yeah, the... I used to remember going to the dentist and then going to Woolworths to get a pick mix after, afterwards, like as a treat for well done for going to the dentist. The irony. My favorite sweet from Woolworths pick mix used to be the little ice creams that were like a chocolate, like either the vanilla or the strawberry topped ones. They were my favorite. Them and the jazzies, they're like round white chocolate with like sprinkles on the top. They were my favorite sweets ever. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much to Nessa for sending that over. Oh, okay, no, this is not a PR package. This is something from Gear 4 Music, which is where I got my, if you remember, my lockdown piano purchase, which is in our black room, in the front room. The uh, piano that we've had, and the, well, the piano, it's like a keyboard piano, digital piano, that we had throughout the renovations, survived, however, the plug went missing. I've no idea, so I've not been able to play it since. So I asked Gear 4 Music if you could just buy the power supply and they said yes. So I ordered that so that I can give it a whirl again. What did I teach myself in lockdown? I taught myself a Billie Eilish one. A Billie Eilish song and there was something else. I need to like refresh. I only ever got to grade two piano, I think at school and um, I just kind of, I didn't have the patience for it, if I'm honest with you, as a child. So I didn't carry on, but now as an adult, I'm like, oh, I wish I'd have carried it on. It's so much harder to learn things as an adult, but it's good for keeping our brain active. I know that through like language learning, because I did languages at uni, it's very much uh, harder as an adult to absorb and, and learn like a new language. I think it's anything past the age of about 10. I also got, oh, this would have been handy. Arriving a little earlier, I wouldn't have bought those star patches that I just showed you, but Mighty Patch have sent over some Flemish patches. So we have plenty now to last us. Uh, I was gonna say I need some spots to use this, but we don't want to wish that on us. Oh, this is good. Especially if you suffer with like acne with rather than like a single breakout. This is a surface mighty patch, which is the extra large patch for bigger breakouts. If you've got a bigger surface area that you want to use them and then you've got the original and then this is mighty patch duo. One original and one invisible. Okay, and then these are the invisible ones. That's a good little uh, travel one. Yeah, thank you so much for them to sending me that. I think that's everything. Yeah, that is everything. So I'm going to enjoy my lunch, finally. Let's grab a fork, enjoy this, and then call it a day for this vlog, I think, because I just want to get it edited for you guys to get it live. So yeah, thank you for spending the day with me. 
bit of spring cleaning, a bit of organizing and tidying up ready for my decorate for spring with me video. I've had a few sort of newer viewers say to me that, um, and older viewers as well, for asking for an updated house tour. So I think what I'll do is kind of do a bit of an overview of a house tour within that video just to kind of bring any new viewers up to speed with things or if any existing viewers that just want a bit of a refresh on what the house is looking like so obviously i'm not going to decorate for spring everywhere it'll probably predominantly be in this room but yeah just a few little touches here and there um for spring and easter but yeah i'll maybe within that video don't hold me to it but i think i will probably end up just doing a bit of a mini house tour so that you can visualize when I'm vlogging in and around the house, you can visualize a bit better where it is that I am if you are a new viewer. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you have. Subscribe for more. It would mean the world if we could bump up those numbers, build a bigger community of my subscribers and yeah, chat to me in the comments, message me on Instagram if you want to chat. I My inbox is always open to you guys about anything, everything. I love it when you guys especially send me your shopping purchases because I feel like we're friends. That's exactly what I'm doing to you here on YouTube. I'm just sharing with you what I've been buying. So yeah, any like bargain finds out there, I love it when you send me them. But yeah, thank you for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.